In this video, I want to introduce Higgsfield Popcorn, a new AI tool that is way better than Google's Nano Banana that allows you to upload a couple of reference images and create a series of storyboard images with perfect character consistency and scene continuity. And one thing that I'm actually very surprised about Higgsfield is the character consistency. So it doesn't matter if you want to create 10, 20 or even 30 different scenes as long as you give the exact same reference image and if you give a prompt asking the AI to create any sort of variations of the image, the character consistency will be on spot and you can use it to create any number of scenes with the same person or subject. And today in this video, I'll show you how we can use Higgsfield Popcorn, what it is possible to make using Higgsfield Popcorn and how to access it and pretty much all other info. So let's quickly get started. So this right here is Higgsfield and we are particularly interested in Higgsfield Popcorn and you can click on this option that says Popcorn in here or you can just click the first link in the description below and head over to higgsfield.ai slash popcorn and you will be able to access this AI. And as you can see, it says create visual stories with Higgsfield Popcorn, easily creates a storyboard that lets you plan and visualize your idea before generation. And now the even cooler thing is that you can even turn images generated using popcorn into a video within the AI models that are available within Higgsfield platform itself. So first thing first, head over to Higgsfield popcorn and you can go ahead and sign up for a new account. And once you're logged in, this is going to be the kind of interface that you will see. And this is where all the magic happens. So towards the bottom side, you have two options that is auto and manual. So if you want to, you can choose either of these options. And here we also have a new Insta dump feature as well. So first of all, we'll keep it in the auto mode. So basically the idea is that you are given the option to upload reference images. And as you can see, it says upload up to four images to guide or extend your storyboard. So it could be different subjects. It could be scenes or whatever be that image that you want to upload. All you have to do is to drag and drop it in here. And after that, you can describe what kind of scenes you want to create. You can select the number of result and also the aspect ratio. And within just a single click, the AI will take care of pretty much everything. And again, if you want to go completely manual, you can click on this manual option right here. And again, you have the option to upload four reference image and for each individual scene, you'll be able to give a custom prompt. So that is basically how it works. And now just as to show you a demo, so maybe I can open an image. So this right here is a photo of a lady. So this right here is the photo that I have in my computer. So I'll simply drag and drop that in here. And next up, let's just say I want to make a photo of this lady taking a selfie from a, let's say a scenic nature place. Well, next up, let's just say I can add a photo of a phone. So here I have already downloaded the photo of an iPhone. So this right here is a photo of an iPhone and I can drag and drop that in here as well. And next up, all I have to do is to give a prompt asking the AI to create a series of images such that the lady is using this particular phone to capture, let's say selfies. So I can give a prompt something like this. It is the person in the first photo holding the phone in the second photo and taking selfies from a scenic place. Okay. And now I'll keep it as four results for now. The aspect ratio, I'll keep it as let's say three is to two. And now all I have to do is to click on this generate for free button and sit back and relax while Higgsfield popcorn does the rest. So in a couple of seconds, the images will be ready and you'll be able to find all these images in here. So let's wait for it. So there you go. All these images are now ready. And as you can see, this right here is the first image. This is second image. This is third image. And this is fourth image. And as you can see, character consistency is actually spot on. So all four of these images have the same prop and also the same person. And we asked to create a scene such that each individual scene features the person from a scenic place. And as you can see, here we have the output. And if I want to, I can click on this download button right here and download the image just like that. And it is as easy as that. And next up, let's just say I'm into product photography and I don't want to spend thousands of dollars for doing an expensive photo shoot. Instead, now all I have to do is to just use Higgsfield popcorn. For example, I can now go ahead and drag and drop the image of a product. So in this case, let's upload the photo of an iPhone. And after that, I can give a prompt something like this that says product photography for the iPhone in the image such that it is placed on the beach. So this right here is the prompt. And now depending on your use case, you can give a customized prompt in here. And now I'll select the results as four aspect ratio looks good. And now I'll click on this generate for free button right here. And within seconds, our image will be ready. So let's wait for it. And there you go. These are the results. And this is what the AI has generated. So as you can see, we uploaded the photo of an iPhone. So this one right here, the latest iPhone 17. And as you can see, these are the images that the AI has generated. So all these images of the iPhone 17 being placed on the sand in the beach 
and here we have all these images look at the quality and detailing right so if i was about to let's say do a product photography like this i'll have to easily spend thousands of dollars and that is exactly what i was able to generate using Higgsfield popcorn and that too in just a couple of prompts so if you want to you can just upload the image of your product and give a prompt and you can create images like this so that is also one more cool use case of using Higgsfield popcorn and next up let's just say i want to create a ghibli styled animated movie and for that i need let's say for example four scenes and this right here is the target or let's say the reference character so i have uploaded the image in here and after that i can give a prompt something like this so it says the man looks for a dragon walking through the forest he finds and fight the dragon from the cave in ghibli style medieval age so this right here is the prompt i'll give and now four results looks good aspect ratio looks good and now all i have to do is to click on this generate for free button right here and within seconds our scene will be ready with perfect continuity so let's wait for it and if you notice correctly as you can see here we actually mentioned it like a proper scene so the man looks for a dragon walking through the forest he finds and fight the dragon basically we have the prompt in a particular order and it is well sorted so let's wait for the output so there you go these are the images that the ai has generated and this right here is the first image the man looks for a dragon okay finds the dragon from the cave and the person fights the dragon and again the target image that we uploaded the person was wearing a white t-shirt and a blue uh, shirt and the output is maintained in the ghibli style image in here as well and this right here is yet another image generation that i did and for reference this right here is the first photo of a lady that i uploaded and this right here is the photo of the subject and i gave a prompt that says the lady in the first photo holding the camera in the second photo and exploring the new york times square capturing skylines with light and billboards so this right here is the prompt and these two are the images and this is what the ai generated so this right here is the first image this writer is the second one this is the third image and this writer is the fourth image and as i mentioned earlier not only can you create images using the Higgsfield uh, platform you can also turn this into videos for example let's say you created all these scenes and now you want to turn them into video well all you have to do is to select any of these photo and towards the bottom you will find an option that says animate so i can click on the same and it will open up this video interface right here and you can give a prompt and select the ai model that you want to use so here we have Higgsfield, we have open ai sora 2 google vo van clink students so you can select the particular model that you want to use give a prompt as to how you want to animate the image and there you go here we have all these videos ready and this right here is the video that the ai has generated so we have vehicles moving in the background the billboards is functional and look at that okay so in a similar fashion you can turn pretty much any images that you generate using popcorn into video from this platform right here so this is how we use Higgsfield popcorn to create amazing storyboard and images by uploading reference images and you can just go ahead and find the reference image that you want to upload add the same in here give a prompt and hit enter and the ai will generate all the images and you can instantly download and start using it or even turn them into video right within Higgsfield itself and if you do want to explore Higgsfield just click the first link in the description below and you can just go ahead and access the same and that's pretty much all i wanted to show you in today's video i hope you guys found this video useful if yes make sure to subscribe and i'll see you in the next one